Welcome to Today of All Days, episode 42. Wait, it's not Sunday. Today is Fantastic Friday, July 7th, 2017. And today, we're going to get right to it with... Comic Comic Sans Sans Day. Day! Vincent Conair was a Microsoft designer that began working on Comic Sans in late 1994. His goal was to create a more child-oriented font after seeing Times New Roman in comic strip speech bubbles and feeling that it was far too formal. Comic Sans made its premiere in Microsoft 3D Movie Maker. Gaining popularity, it was later integrated in the Windows 95 operating system. You remember him, the one with the little window that would just... The font is now used around the world, and it is notorious for being used out of a child-friendly context and even upsetting some people for making serious subjects seem informal or even disrespectful. Now, just some examples of this include Comic Sans on a Dutch memorial and printed advice for rape victims, just to name a couple. This should stress the point that it is important that the font you choose conveys the tone of what you want to say in the most effective way. So, whenever you're typing up a paper, or if you're ever posting on the internet, try and think about those things. Certain fonts convey certain kinds of feelings that go along with the words that you're saying. I would like to add, however, that not everybody's connotation of a font is the same across the board. So... Try to be a little more tolerant out there before you raise your pitchforks and attack the poor Joe who just has a thing for Comic Sans. And that brings us to... Today in History. In 1958, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signs the act that declared Alaska a state. Congrats, Alaska. Welcome. Welcome aboard. However, Alaska was purchased almost a century earlier from Russia for $7.2 million. The state itself is roughly twice the size of Texas and only has a population of 738,432 people. Now, that is a population back in 2015. I imagine there's a couple more now. That averages out to roughly 1.2 people per square mile. That's nothing. You guys have loads of space out there. I wonder how much of it's swampland, though. Or how how much of it has, like, ice in between each little dollop of land. You have one guy living on the far out end. He's like, hey! (laughs) He asked, he has to own a plane. Has to do anything. And speaking of cold, inclement weather and tundras... We would like to celebrate another chilly, frozen holiday. But first, we must take a little intermission to prepare our holiday festivities. Please hold. And we're back with... Strawberry Strawberry Sunday Sunday Day. Day! While it may be hard to believe that a sweet afternoon treat may ever be the cause of controversy, the ice cream sundae is just such treat. Three main cities claim to be the originators of the sundae. Evanston, Illinois, Ithaca, New York, and Two Rivers, Wisconsin, with dates going as far back as 1881. Evanston claims that Ithaca must have gotten the idea from them. Ithaca has the most documentation surrounding their claim. But Two Rivers not only claims to have been the origin of the Sunday, but has been recognized by the State Historical Society of Wisconsin. And they have a historical marker in their Two Rivers Central Memorial Park to commemorate the invention. I don't know who created the ice cream Sunday, really, but... No words can describe how I feel. Mm Mm-hmm. It's too good. Mm. 
The story goes that ice cream sodas became banned on Sundays on religious grounds. As such, many people would order plain ice cream. One day in 1881, George Hallor requested chocolate syrup be added to his ice cream at Edward C. Burner's soda fountain. Now, Ed Burner began selling the treats for five cents under the name ice cream with syrup. And since the syrup was the same that was used for the ice cream sodas, it is said his clientele would say they were pretending it was Sunday. It is thought that Sunday with a Y eventually changed to Sunday with an E as not to offend the religious. And in some places, it was changed completely to Sunday. Eww, you got one of them, you, you got one of them five cent Sundays? So, whether you truly like strawberry sundaes, or if you prefer cherry or chocolate sundaes, we're not gonna tell anybody. Let us know which one is your favorite in the comments below. And in the meantime, choose your fonts wisely, and enjoy your own variety of ice cream on this day. Today of all days. Today of all days. And we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.